Sure. Hi, everybody. This is for GLF number one worksheet, the odd problems worked out. Uh, problem number one and three say uh, we want to determine if the relation is a function. So what we want to do is we want to look at the y values. If the y values repeat, it's not. If they don't repeat, then yes, it's a function. So on this one, notice the fives repeat, so no, that's not a function. And then when you have everything lined up um, as a string of things, you're looking at the y values. And if the y values, it looks like the y values repeat there, and the fives repeat, so that is not a function. Uh, number seven, it's something called the vertical line test. When you do the vertical line test, notice vertical line test sets it twice, so that's not a function. Same thing with the circle. If you draw a vertical line in many locations there, that is not going to give you a function. Number 11 is still that vertical line test still works. If you can draw any vertical line and it touches your graph twice, uh, it won't be a function. Number 13, I'd say definitely look at is a class, okay? Talk to your teacher about that one. Number 15, we want to give the domain, that's letter A, so the domain, we're going to look at the x values. The furthest left x value to the furthest right. And we have a solid dot on each of the ends, it looks like. And so my domain is going to be hard bracket negative 5 to hard bracket 5. Okay, again, those are just the x values. If you want to look to where your graph is decreasing, as it goes down, if it down to the right, that's where it's decreasing. So you're going to use the intervals, talking about the x, describing the graph. So it's decreasing from negative 5 to negative 3. And I would probably say, I would say put a soft bracket on both of those. Um, because one's an end point and the other one is a turning point. And then it's also decreasing from 0 to 4. Okay, so that's where it's decreasing. And then where is our graph positive? So our graph does this. So it's positive. It's positive in this whole region here and this whole region here. It's where it's above the x-axis. So if we're looking for where it's positive. We're going to say, again, using... So from negative 5, and I'm going to use a hard bracket on that because that points above there, to negative 3. It's going to be a soft bracket on the negative 3 because that rests right on the x-axis, so it's actually 0. And then it's also positive from that negative 3 all the way to whatever this point is. That looks like about 1.5, comma 0, so to 1.5. And those are soft brackets when they are on the x-axis. When it's above it, it uh, is included, so it's a hard bracket. All right, problem number 17. Then we want f at 3, so we're going to use the f at x equation. So I'm going to take this 3 and I'm going to replace it here. So I'm going to get negative 3 times 3 plus 4, so that's negative 9 plus 4, which gives me negative 5. Uh, number 19, we're going to use the g equation because we had g at 0. So I'm going to get, I'm going to take the 0, I'm going to plug it in here. So I get 2, 0 minus 3 quantity squared plus 1. So 2 times negative 3 quantity squared. So that's 2 times 9. Negative times negative is positive. So 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1. That gives me an answer of 19. For number 21, we're going to take uh, 1 and we're going to plug it in for x. So I get 5 times 2 raised to the first power. 2 to the first is just 2. So the answer here is 10. Number 23, we're going to use the f equation. So I'm going to take this negative 3, plug it in here. So I get negative 3 times negative 3 plus 4. So that's going to give me 9 plus 4. Negative times negative is positive. That's 13. Number 25, we're going to use our h equation. So I have 5 times 2 to the second. Order of operations says take care of the exponents first. So 2 to the second is 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. And then number 27, we want to know... If f of x is equal to 22, so we're going to use our f of x equation. We're going to set these equal to each other. I'm not plugging this in. I'm setting it equal, and I need to go solve this then. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I get negative 3x is equal to 18. Divide each side by negative 3. So I get x equals negative 6. And then 29, I also want to set it equal. We're using the f of x equation. So I'm going to go negative 3x plus 4 equals 37. 
I'm just subtract 4 from both sides. Those cancel, so negative 3x is equal to, what is that, uh, 33. Divide each side by negative 3. So it looks like I'm going to get x equals negative 11 once I do that. Okay, that's it for us. Make sure you ask questions in class. Have a great day. Take care of one another. Bye-bye.